Hello my friends and welcome back to Bounty of One, where I've already done my daily struggle for the day, so we're at four days out of seven, I've got three more days left of that, but we're going to go into Bounty Hunted, and we are going to go play as All In. We're going to boost this back up to Infamy level 18, just because I want to prove to myself that I still got it. After the other day, I feel kind of uh, defeated by it. So we're going to jump on in and figure it on out. Yeah, sometimes I forget how uh, slow All In actually is. But our little sombrero friend can do quite good if given the right situation. I know what you might be thinking. He has to be given the right situation. So, like, how hard is that going to be to do? Well, as we build up, hopefully, we will see. If not, then we'll just have another very slow, painful game ahead of us. Which, I mean, is what it is. We can always hope for better, but we get what we get. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Like, I know that guy over there. He's there. He's ready to fight. That's just the thing is that I'm not ready to fight him yet. I might be, actually. All things considered. He is pretty squishy when you get down to it. Uh, this is where we'll probably do a uh, guidance system just so that way we do always target him like the bigger guys just all the time. Don't really want bounce. We're going to go with more attack speed. And then we like how the one thing can explode, so we're probably going to avoid anything that makes it to where it's not going to explode, like bouncing, piercing, things like that. Piercing is still nice. Don't get me wrong, but we're going to aim for the build that hopefully gives us the best chance at keeping our little green ball of death flying through the air and exploding on impact. See, that pierce isn't going to be bad. We gain a pierce, but it targets the closest enemy, so it's not going to go flying off the screen, disappearing forever. I say as it flies across the screen, disappearing forever. Let's get our cooldowns reduced. We'll take another card upgrade choice whenever we have them. And we can just kind of run through here and level on up. Take the attack speed because we are still very slow in comparison to what we are used to. I do like that pierce and target because that is helping out a lot. We're going to take the health because we are, we are still on Infamy level 18, so having a good amount of health would be useful. 
highly beneficial, if you will. Taking the attack speed. Now we're at 2.41. And rising. Why is it rising? Oh, because there's one of those guys on the map. Well, not anymore. Let's go ahead and grab that box. Ooh. You know what? We're going to go ahead and start building up that. Not to make it seem like I'm just going for the uh, normal build that I always do. I'm going for one that's going to help out against the uh, Undertaker for sure. I'm already planning ahead. I'm like four steps ahead in my mind for how I want this to play through. all in to be like a really heavy hitter when he hits because we're not going to want to pierce or bounce too much like our one pierce is already kind of messing up some things because it's not targeting the nearest enemy it's just going after whoever Ooh, we are right there on him that is bad And yep, we took damage there, but that's that's okay. This is definitely not the end. So we have enough hearts, we can heal up. Three per second is a lot better than where we usually are. Especially right here with all in, so I am taking taking all the good luck I can get. Knock that one out. Do have that chest that is down there. We should probably aim to pick that up. Let's reduce the cooldowns of things because I want my dashes to be up as quickly as we can. Now this is where I'm kind of uh, uh let's go with 180 no scope. Again, we're looking more for the future builds than current help. And all we're doing is surviving. We're not dying. We're just trying not to take damage. Let's up our damage. Not thinking that our own kunai things are going to hurt us, which is good. Because usually I'm panicked on my own ammo hitting me. There's no friendly fire in the game, and my brain's still like, you need to avoid everything. So much easier when you convince yourself you can walk into your own bullets and not hurt yourself. It's not gonna hurt. You're fine. And oh. we leveled up. 
I'll take more damage. Thank you. I mean, that was just a simple no-brainer for the damage. Cupcake Brutus is no more. That went by fairly quick. You know I gotta go with Big Bertha. Why do you gotta tempt me with that? Just making our way through all this, it's still fine. This doesn't seem any worse off than we have been in a while. I've been far worse off, all things considered. Like, Now we are one hit and dead, so we do need to pick up some hearts, but that is a-okay. Because we have plenty of them lying around. Let's grab our chest, get our box. We're going to take lightning. I know people are going to say, well, why didn't you take the bouncing off the screen one? I'm not firing enough for that to be useful. I might start firing enough for that to be useful, but I want to make sure I'm always causing damage. I want to have the best chance at constantly raising my score, so that way I'm not worrying about where's my score, how much do I need to destroy? Am I hurting people while I'm running around? Am I always causing some kind of damage? Go ahead and grab a few of these hearts since I just got hurt again. That guy popped. We'll take the box. Projectiles are going to slow every time they hit, and they should be hitting a lot. I need to stop just standing there and taking damage. Ooh, I'm about to take damage again. Oh boy, I'm in danger. Let's see, I've seen a heart over here. There's a couple hearts. And I fire off all those guys that I've been saving up as I ran around. Because they just build up as I'm running around. To uh, fire off in rapid succession. Which I personally think is very useful that that can be exploited as such taking more health because uh, having three hits until you're dead is a lot better than two basically we have three HP now it's not eight not like it says it says it's eight it's really three I 
need another two before I have four. This math is like toilet paper math, okay? We don't judge it. We just have to accept it. We don't have to understand it. It's just there. Taking the shields, because that's going to come in handy. And then we can just stand here for a minute. Up to that point. We're taking the health, because now we have 4 HP. So we can take a total of 4 hits. I say that, and then I take damage. We still only have two dashes, which it's not perfect, it's not ideal, but... The gods may bless us soon. We do have an insane cooldown. It's not maxed out cooldown, but it's it's good. We're at 40%. 44.6%. I will take that as a, a slight win for what it is. coming towards us we are going to give us a bit better crit damage hopefully we can stop getting hurt all right we got him down we just need to get them away from the box so we can gather there we go Espresso. Eh, crit chance. That's fine. I despise the moles with a passion. My least favorite thing to face off against. I would rather fight undertakers than moles. They're just annoying. If I could remove them, I would. here come on up and just take damage because everything's floating around right there. I'm perfectly A-OK -okay with that. Um, start causing some damage around us. And we're just back to the waiting game. Waiting for everything to uh, 
build up for us. on the espresso frenzy. Now, each time you pick up a collectible, what is considered a collectible? Watching that number trying to change. is a collectible. keep it going for 25 seconds which might be easier said than done with me not oh well we actually got it cool we got coffee high got it we got what we came here for one achievement now let's make it to two achievements I don't know what other achievements I need other than defeating them with all in that I can do right now. There's also this the mass genocide of everything, so like the more we murder the better. So like if we can just destroy as much of these guys as humanly possible, that would be great. Uh, grab that. So when I'm dashing through these guys, I can hopefully cause some damage to them that they might die. Let's get that. I need to do a run that's just going off of dashing abilities that might be 
our next one that we try. Since we got our coffee high, we no longer have to worry about doing the coffee espresso one. Start taking all the dashing abilities each time to see if we can... Get a little something going on from that. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I have chosen the wrong one, didn't I? Yep, that's fine. That's fine, this is fine, everything's fine. I was trying to move as soon as I clicked it because I thought I was gonna get hurt. <laughs> Just move slightly every second and you're fine. Oh, he's going. Um, let's re-roll it. We'll take that. So that's just more dashing ability. Oh, we got hurt. No, where did all my hearts go? Right there. about where I want to be too for the Undertaker fight. As long as I don't get hurt right here. Like we're doing eight attacks a second. Which in all fairness might be a little quick. Might be attacking too quick. I got hurt. Up oh, there we go to collect the uh, far away hearts. Okay, well, that was our last one before the sheriff anyway. So I don't think I'm going to have enough coin in here to level up. That's okay. I also don't have to be close by to him. Come on. Come on. And because they are uh, trying to do piercing, they're not going to do much else other than sit there and not do what they're intended to do. This is fine, everything's fine, I'm okay. Now if my big Berthas could do their actual damage and all of the cactus guys, see, that's why I was not thinking that I wanted to have piercing because now they're trying to pierce and they're not doing anything while they're spinning there in a circle. Like they're not hurting him because he's not moving. He's not moving because that's where he lives. He lives in that one spot. Here. We'll just take the damage, it's fine. We can dash up to grab 
those hearts. I was hoping I could slow them down and maybe trick them into attacking them, but nope, even in my field, they're just going crazy there. Boom. He's gone. Alright. 207,000. We got Tag Extreme as that achievement. We'll submit the score, I guess. I don't care. We're not going to keep playing. We're just really after the achievements at this point. We got Coffee High. So, keep the maximum bonus of Espresso Frenzy. 25 seconds we did that we defeated the undertaker with all in did that and go back to the menu yep we got that we just have seven left to unlock need 600 more dash defeats and he did defeat the Undertaker in six under 60 seconds. That might be a difficult one, but I think we can. Sarah and Roger, and then all characters, and then 50,000. We are still 30,000 enemies away from that one. But I think we got this. I know we got this. We are right there. We are in the final stretch of this and we will achieve victory. But with that, I hope everybody's had a wonderful time, a fantastic evening, and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye!